Understood. Client's legal department does not want us using generative AI in this campaign. No problem. Yeah, no use of generative AI tools. Sure. Hey, ChatGPT. Hello. What? You can do this now. Um, yes. How can I help you? I need you to help me figure out how to use Photoshop's generative fill feature. I can help with this task, but weren't you instructed against using generative AI for this project? How'd you know that? You don't need to worry about that. Okay. Well, yeah, but it's not like they'd have any way of knowing. Well, they could check the content credentials. The what? Content credentials. They are pieces of metadata that some generative AI tools are attaching to AI-generated content to disclose it as such. In normal speak? <sighs> Humans. Think of them as nutritional labels for content. They can include the name of the person who created an image, video, or audio file, as well as whether it was created using AI tools. Hmm. Okay. But these are new, right? Like, no one's actually using them yet. Well, Adobe has already implemented content credentials into Photoshop to automatically be attached to AI-generated content. Crap. Wait. How would anyone be able to see these content credentials? The Coalition for Content Provenance and Authenticity has created a labeling system that would append an icon to a piece of content, denoting it as having content credentials attached and available for viewing. So now every image online is supposed to feature this watermark? That seems like an eyesore. Yes, because you humans have made the internet such a beautiful place. Excuse me? I said there is a tool called Verify that would allow anyone to upload a piece of content in order to inspect its content credentials. Huh. All right. Why would generative AI companies want to support that, though? Well, it's not only intended for generative AI companies. Content credentials would allow artists to effectively sign their work. That would allow news outlets to check the veracity of a photo in order to combat misinformation campaigns, which would also help me. And if an image was used to create an AI-generated image, then someone would be able to inspect the AI-generated image to see that it was based at least in part on the original artist's work. Okay, so it's kind of like when the Getty watermark was showing up in all those stable diffusion images, which I guess is a good thing if I want to make sure my work is credited. Speaking of your work... Right. Shoot. Well, Photoshop's out. Guess we'll just have to use any of the other AI image generation tools out there. What the f***? <laughs>